Hey, Richard Miller here, um, Facts Working People. I, I just wanted to make a couple of comments. I was just actually walking up the road and thinking about something. We were on a, we were on a, me and my two friends and Facebook people will often see uh, on Facebook. We were hiking yesterday out of Black Diamond Mines <clears throat> and we always talk politics. The three of us are political characters and uh, One's a team, so the other two, me and my buddy, are asked me, former asked me. And we bumped into two guys and we got to chatting with them a little bit. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it comes into talking about, you know, what's going on in the world a little bit. One guy was saying, you can't believe anybody anymore, you never know. The news media, I don't watch it, and blah, blah, blah. And right before the end, the other guy says, we, well, we, Rod mentioned something about the, uh, the, the, the uh, January the 6th and, and the, uh, the, attempted coup, well Rog called it a, a coup and I, I said it was a putsch and um, the, the other guy suddenly pops in with yeah but you didn't see when black live, uh, no he said you didn't see when black, uh, BLM uh, was out there doing the same thing, throwing bombs, shooting guns and pointing rifles uh, 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 and everything else and trying to get over the fence into the White House. <clears throat> Rog, Rog says, Rog says that Really? We, we discuss this a lot every week. We all follow this, and I couldn't remember it. None of us could remember it. We knew what it meant, because uh, it didn't occur. But, um, uh, and then Rod says something to him, like, it sounds like a, a QAnon uh, news or something like that. But, I mean, <clears throat> that's, the, that's the mentality of some. I mean, they can't escape who they are. Uh, but, it's, you know, you can, you can write them off just as nutters or racists or this, that, and the other, but... You know, the, the, the reality is that there is a, the power of the media and the internet combined, which is part of the media, of course. It's simply, there's a whole section of society in the United States that, uh, that believe that, you know, there's a, the, 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 and Trump, of course, reinforced it. <clears throat> and the absence of the, the Labour leadership offers, they offer no real response to it except to vote for the Democrats and, you know, Biden's a good guy and and so forth, and of course the, the, the Trumpers are not wrong and the Conservatives are not wrong, that they're just as bad. They're not as bad in, in some ways, but in the, on the, in the last analysis, on the nitty-gritty they are. And so we had a little bit of a discussion about that, but you know, I, 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 I wanted to say I'm walking along thinking about it, and I thought about, you know, what, what I wanted to say to the guy, although it's probably a waste of time, you know, Martin Luther King's point about um, uh, riots are the is the language. Riots is the language of the unheard, and 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 the, the, of course there were elements, riotous elements in the Black Lives Matter movement. Overwhelmingly, it wasn't. There was provocateurs as well. There were the cops and everything else, <clears throat> um, but overwhelmingly, <clears throat> it was not a, a, a riotous movement. And of course, when people uh, lash out. Even in a, um, a, a riotous way, smashing the windows and everything else, is a lot of that is actually a political statement because it's not. Uh, a friend of mine was saying here when they smashed up some of the stores, and we live a few blocks from it, and she said, Oh, I hope they don't do it again. You know, I get worried. I said, Why? Nobody's house was bothered. They don't smash, out, uh, smash up residential homes, they attack businesses. Now, it's certainly very bad for small business when that happens, especially in the black community often if, you know, they don't, that's worse for them, the small business there. But what it is, is a political statement, it is a political act to attack Target, to attack Walmart, uh, and, and of course, obviously, the police station for very obvious reasons, and occupying force in, 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 in the inner cities and, and society in general, in the last analysis. And, and so they are actually lashing out in a political way. But a movement doesn't come already made. When a movement, there's no organized leadership, there's no, uh, it arises out of the anger and the crisis in society, there's no organization to turn to. As I say, the labor leadership that has the resources of the organized movement at, at, their, uh, at their command, they're absolutely worthless in this regard. They're beyond that, they're actually under, they actually un undermine uh, any development along those lines and so people lash out 
But I mean, in all of these, even among the most riotous, it's not generally people's homes. When do you ever hear people's homes? They, oh, they smashed up, went up a, a, a residential street, smashing windows in people's homes. They attack what they see correctly as representatives of the system. It's not a thought out political attack, but it's riotous anger. And it's the, it, when there is no f way out, that's what happens. Just like the, the, uh, uh, a riot being described as uh, the, the language of the unheard. If the system is not working, if you can't go to court, if you can't uh, get redress, you'll find it in another way. You, it might, it, it'll suppress the anger, it'll hold it back maybe for a period of time, it'll suppress it with violence from state forces like the police, but at some point you smash through. And at some point in this country there'll be a much bigger smash through. Uh, but this guy, you know, going, uh, you know, raising immediately BLM, he called them. He couldn't even say Black Lives Matter. You can, you, 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 and we were talking about it afterwards. You're quite welcome and you should cri criticise uh, Black Lives Matter if you have a valid criticism of them. There's plenty to be made. But you start from a position, particularly if you're white, you start from a position of the justification for the movement, the justification for the anger, and then you can, you, you, you can and, and particularly if you participate in one way or another in supporting that movement, uh, even if it's just verbally, and then you can raise, uh, 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 you, uh, raise some criticism. Uh, um, I was told when I got in the Green Party there for a minute or two, there was some discussion and there were black folks involved in it, and I mentioned something, and I was told by a white liberal and a black liberal friend that... Um, I have no right to say anything because this is a black issue and I have no right to say That's just abject, abject nonsense. We're not talking about that. But if you're going to criticise, uh, you, you'd better have uh, put your money where your mouth is w with regards to the, uh, 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 the, the crisis that has thrown up uh, a movement that doesn't quite fit what you think should be a polite uh, uh, movement uh, in this country or any country. Anyway, that was just a quick thought. I'll see how this goes. I just haven't written anything, and I, I thought uh, thought about that yesterday. We all, the three of us, walked away, and Rod said, I'd, "I'd like to go back and <laughs> smack him one," you know. But anyway, we didn't, and it didn't ruin our day. But uh, you get tired of hearing that crap. All right, Richard Meller, Facts for Working People, just expressing a few thoughts, get, uh, releasing some tension. <laughs>